Hello coolers and welcome back to Barca Universal. After a bad, bad defeat to Hetafe in La Liga, we are straight back in action here. And honestly guys, to be precise, in Champions League action, the big tournament is back and it's time to start our journey in the group stage right now. It's time to get back to winning ways and it's also time to face interesting opposition here in Ferenc Varos, who are a Hungarian side in the Champions League and all of the preview for tomorrow night's game is coming right up here. So let's get into it. And this game will be coming to us live from the Camp Nou. We're back at home and it's going to be 9pm local time over there in Spain. And of course, guys, be able to check in your time zones where that one is all around the world, depending on where you guys will be watching Barcelona. But of course, there's going to be no fans at the stadium. It's an empty Camp Nou. A Champions League night in the Camp Nou is something I usually really look forward to. And honestly, there are going to be different aspects that we're looking forward to in tomorrow night's game. There's no fans, of course, but it is a game we should honestly be winning if we want to be topping our group. I'm expecting quite a young and exciting, youthful Barcelona lineup, and hopefully, guys, an important first three points in our group. That is the imperative thing here. Yes, we want a performance, but of course, we want to be winning this game. And if we do actually take a look at our group, guys, it's actually quite a good one. I'm quite happy with our group, you know. We should be going through it. If you look at the teams in it, we've got Juventus, who will be a good good opposition, a good test for us. And then you've got the likes of Ferenc Vados and Dynamo Kiev, who honestly, guys, in my opinion, we should be beating them comfortably. Barcelona over the years, no matter who we have in our group, we've been coming top of it. So in a group like this, where it's a good chance to maybe rest some players, bring some players in, and also test ourselves against the likes of Juventus, in my opinion, it's a really good group. And as always in the Champions League, it is never easy, guys, and we should always be treating our opposition with the utmost respect. But I just look at this group and I think, I back us to get top spot, I back us to have some good games, and I'm really looking forward to them actually playing out. And if we do actually start with ourselves, Barcelona, the mighty Blaugrana for tomorrow's fixture, let's start with the fact that, well, I'm really looking forward to this fixture. I really am. I think it's going to be a fun game to watch. Um, with the home side for it, of course, which I think is always really important for these sorts of games. And I think we can see a little bit of rotation from Ronald Koeman tomorrow. I think we can try out some new things. It's going to be a Champions League now, which I always really like the look of. Uh, it's unknown opposition. And it should be a really in interesting and good evening, essentially. And what I am looking to see from Ronald Koeman aside in all truth is a lot of hunger in the play. I want to see that quickness back. I want to see the fitness. I want to see the ability to carve out chances, to make things hard for opposition, to look like a proper Barcelona team. And this is a really, really good chance for us to return to winning ways here, get some goals on the board. And of course, guys, put in a really good performance because it is at a Classico weekend coming up, guys. So this game is absolutely imperative. After lost to Hetafe, we have to win this one. And I want to see a performance out there. I want to see some youth. I want to see all the good aspects of Koeman's Barca on the pitch tomorrow night and that's absolutely crucial but if we do swiftly move on now to Ronald Koeman's predicted 11 for tomorrow's game what we could see Barcelona line up like in this Champions League fixture and it is a fixture that maybe we could be seeing some rotation in there's just been an international break we've got Real Madrid on the weekend who've just played a really hard fought game out there against Hetafe so we could see some other players brought into this one if we look in goal we think Neto's going to get the start in defence we could see Dest and Roberto keep their spots at full back although do not be so surprised to see Junior Firpo at the left back spot getting his first start of the season in defence Sadao Han Longley for me would be the ideal centre back partnership, although I think Kuman may be lining up with Gerard Piquet. We'll have to wait and see which way he goes, but I do think Piquet could get some rest for the Classico, and also Araujo really deserves some more minutes. In midfield is where it really gets exciting and interesting. I'm desperate to see Pjanic and De Jong in a double pivot, and I think tomorrow we are going to be able to see that, so that's absolutely stunning, and I'm really looking forward to seeing those guys in there. And then up front, guys, almost anything can happen with the front four. We've got so many options right now. Um, you know, the likes of Cortino and Anasul Fati, of course, are going to be knocking on the door to come back into the team. Maybe Messi and Griezmann are going to be getting some rest. We've also got the likes of Trincao, Pedri, who played really well, also Dembélé. And, of course, Martin Braithwaite is going to be knocking on that door and saying, I want some minutes in this first team. So it is quite up in the air up front. We've got to wait and see what happens with Koeman's selection. But all in all, let's hope we can get a good lineup out there and get the three points. And now let's move on to our opposition here, Ferenc Varos, the Hungarian team. And honestly, guys, very unknown opposition. So maybe you guys are looking forward to this part of the preview because I've had a little bit of research on them. And honestly, none of us are experts on this team. But honestly, they're here on merit is what I would drill into you guys. You know, they're here in the group stages for a reason. You don't just arrive there and play against Barcelona and Juventus. You have to earn it. They've beaten Celtic. They've beaten Dynamo Zagreb. They've beaten Molda, uh, who was the team that I believe Ole Gunnar Solskjaer used to manage. They've beaten some good opposition to get here. They really have. They've got some impressive hard-fought victories. They've got clean sheets on the way. And they've been impressive Ferenc Vados. They're top of the league in, the, in Hungary. Maybe, yet. Yeah, that's not the biggest feat. But hey, they're on good form. Clearly, they're a competitive side. They've beaten some good teams already this season. And honestly, more importantly, they're going to be playing with a lot of confidence. 
experience. They're used to winning matches, and maybe that's important for this sort of fixture. They're not going to come to the Camp Nou and think, let's see if we can keep it under five. They're going to be confident. They've beaten some good sides. They're here in the Champions League for a reason, and this should be quite a fun game. And like I mentioned, they should be feeling good about themselves right now. They'll basically be coming to this game with nothing to lose. You know, you'd expect them to be quite compact, a quite close-knit bunch. We don't really know what sort of game, the, game plan they're going to give us. You know, are they going to really come at us? Are they going to sit in? You'd expect them to, you know, get behind the ball, let Barcelona have possession. But you never really know with these teams. We, all we've got to do, guys, is treat this game with respect. We've got to go out there with desire in our, in our play. Else, we're not going to win the game. And that's ultimately what we need to do here. So if we do quickly wrap up the match preview with my prediction for tomorrow's game, and I'm going to go for Barcelona 3, Ferenc Varos 1. I've gone for that prediction. Honestly, I don't know if we're going to be seeing absolute fireworks from Barcelona. I don't know if we're that sort of team right now under Koeman, if we're that far along the line in his tenure, but I think we're going to see a good performance from Barcelona. I think it's going to be quite a fun game. Uh, we maybe get some early first-half goals and then settle down. What we've got to make sure we do, though, as I've said earlier, is go out there with a the desire. Don't make this a nightmare of a game, guys, because honestly, it's about as easy as it gets for us in the group stages. And if we drop points here, we put ourselves in a bad, bad position. Then we have to play catch-up. We go to Juventus away next. So we lose that one on top of dropping points here. We put ourselves in a really bad position in the group. So it's imperative to win. It really is. It's a big game. It's a Champions League night at the Camp Nou. It's a chance to, you know, try out some new things, get some of the younger players in there, get some goals under the belts of some players. Even like Messi could do with a goal or two, honestly. So it's a good chance for the players. I look at the likes of Pjanic coming in, even, even Junior Firpo at left back. You know, Alaba's going to be injured probably a lot of the season um, here and there, you know, with little hamstring pulls and whatnot. So Firpo's got to be ready. He's got to get the confidence in his game. And I say that for the players all over the park. Another good chance for Neto to get a clean sheet under his belt, perhaps. Um, to see Araujo back in the team. Pjanic has got to make a good impression on his full debut, really. So it's an interesting game. There's going to be a lot of to talk about. Um, and of course, we're going to be here after the game with a match review. So make sure you guys are sticking around in the next 24 hours or so after a full time to check out Barca Universal, to check out the review of the game. But it should be a fun one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you're sharing around Barca Universal, getting the community in this channel, get involved in the comments. Let's see what this game has for us. It should be a good one. It really should be. I am looking forward to it. And until then, I'll see you guys very, very soon. And goodbye.